pretty cool. This is the Ford Special. It's hard to steer because that ain't even having power steering. It's pretty cool, nonetheless. Alright, let's turn around a little bit. I forgot about this over here. I'm not going to talk much during this video because this is my first time here. Unfortunately, we can't look inside of the vehicles. Stingray. This would be about 50 something thousand in today's money. Mm, that's nice. It's a uh, 1966 Stingray, $4,000 in full of Corvettes and Chevys. Mm -hmm. 
Looks like we got a little surprise under there. Mom. Another bear layer. Really nice. And lastly on this row, a 1948 Tucker. As you can see, the little sticker right here. Pause it if you want to read it. And here's the car. Here's the next row. I like this one. You can actually look inside here. If it can focus. Mm -mm. It's, it's, it's not catching the inside. It's okay though. This rolls was bad. Hello there. Cool. V12. Hundred twenty five horsepower. It's not bad for 1948. a lot of money in today's time. Nice wax. Chrome bumper. Nicely restored. White wall tires. The Roadmaster. The next one again, nice wax. Okay, oh my goodness, a Thunderbird. They still made these, man. Next car, 1949 Custom Coupe. Pretty nice. Or 100. Not too bad.
tomorrow picture. Alright, on to the next one. Let's check out this the far side over here near the wall. EOD fanatics will be will love this. Barrels, single barrels, rifle. Pretty cool. Let's get going over here to the police side. Before I get over here, let me turn around. out there. More pianos. More police badges. Let me know y'all see one y'all like. one that's in your city I don't see one because I'm not from any of these cities I've been to some of these cities
Let's take a picture of the dummy. Okay. All right, part two. I had a friend from Lawrence. Police vehicles. A death warrant from the state of Florida. The electric chair. Get a good look at it. It looks like contraband to me. Let's keep going. I don't know who this is. And that's pianos again. Before I move on. Y'all pause it and zoom in and see a weapon y'all recognize because I'm not a weapons expert. and museums. Nice piano. Let's check out this green one. This page was pretty good too. But I'm admiring the green one. It's just a book. Oops. Give me just a second. Ways and Sons, Owners, Mary War. I guess it's a piano book. I know how to operate it. As you see, the yellow keys, yellow and orange keys, and a blue seat. It complements the green. Let's see the chords. Beautiful, beautiful. Let's see what's next. The Blues Brothers. Nice. Now 
let's come back here to the back. A whole bunch of little dolls. I'm not a fan of. I'm just gonna skim through it real quick. I'm not a fan of all these nasty looking dolls. Jukebox worth the jukebox. I think it's right here. Beautiful. are basically the same car the model A, the model B, C, whatever, so forth, so on, so it's gonna keep going through it. They are the same car. Antiques. This right here is pretty nice. Nice 1940s, if I'm not mistaken, police cruiser. Yep, I was right on the money. 1940s. Eighteen cent a gallon. Eighty-five horsepower. V8. 29.70 which is uh, 95 that's real nice right there 1936 model 115 1950s Oldsmobile I might can get a close up of that one This vehicle is one of three originals that are still known to exist today. but y'all can take a look. Now this is something I want to take a look at. $181,000. I wonder how much it's worth now. started earlier so 
this is the 50th anniversary Corvette. That's why I look like a C5 Corvette. On the sides, it looks like the C5 Corvette, as it was stating. But in the front and the back, it's like the 1953 edition. And in the inside, it's built like the C5 Corvette. I wish I could take a look inside that GT. That GT bad. 1970 Mustang. 335 horsepower V8. Oh my goodness. The original sticker. Whoever bought man. The original sticker. Let's see what it says. Serial number. Built a dip one. I don't know what that is. This was built. This was sold in Philadelphia first. Power steering was an option back then. Two door convertible, eight cylinder, enclosed at no extra cost. Bucket seats, no cost, no cost. Instrument gauges, belt tires, no cost. Convertible top, standard, four speed manual. $205. That cost money back then? I knew power steering cost money in the 70s and 60s, but not that. Front disc brakes. A and FM stereo 214 no this brakes power steering radio tinted glass sport wheel covers tachometer triple dominer 1470 all coming out to four thousand six hundred and seventy five dollars and change and there's the the van if y'all want to look it up Mustang. Here's the sticker again. I ain't gonna go through it, it's about the same thing. And above it is the Ford GT. of 160 157 not too too bad but I thought I can go faster if it was 500 horsepower it's pretty nice though okay there's the Ford GT over there and here's the sticker for it Three hundred miles an hour, modified version. Oh my goodness! More Mustangs. It's a 1967 model. Nineteen seventy-one Mustang. this up on Carfax. I'll be that'd be highly appreciated but it's real nice though. 370 horsepower for 1970 is really good. A DeLorean. Another Corvette. Let's go back to the DeLorean real quick for y'all back to the future fans. Man, okay, Corvette.
thing right Corvette that's that's beautiful that's so beautiful the nice oh we know what color that is nicely painted the C5 Corvette Stingray Corvette below it so this one right there is a 1978 that up there is a C5 Corvette as I thought and we're almost at the end the Prowler let's back up let's back up let's back up the Trans Am oh my goodness that black finish the nice rims on the I don't know what kind of tires those are. I can't really see it. I don't know. I know a little bit about car, but not too, too much. Let's look inside real quick. Man, that's beautiful. That is so beautiful. Let's see what it says up here. 220 horsepower. It's probably because the, um, it's probably because of the gas thing that was going on, the gas crisis. It's the newer Camaros. beautiful but I'm not a fan of Camaros I sat in one before and I wasn't really too much of a fan of Viper that's nice 53,000 I always loved it the V8 uh, eight. Eight, 8 liter 10 cylinder that's what I meant to say beautiful Big block or a small block? I can't tell the difference. So, well, I take that back. I kind of can't tell the difference. I'm thinking that's a big block engine, and I'm thinking that's a small block engine. But I could be wrong. Three hundred thousand. Oh my goodness. Let's look inside. Still got the seats in the back too. It's all the Camaros. Again, I'm not a fan of Camaros. But just for y'all's sake, I'll go down there and look at it after the Stingray. See what this 2018 Camaro talking about. This vehicle is not street legal. I was about to say because that thing right there that sucks in air, that's not legal. Or for automatic. That's why it has 600 horsepower. Okay. 1966 Nova. For 
Robert Sanjala camshaft. Total 2200 on manufactured. That's pretty nice. Thirteen point nine. That's that's not bad for a big car like this. Let me see your side view. It's another Nova. Veil. The modification is 450 horsepower. That's not bad. GTO GTO yes. Hope y'all enjoyed the video That's it for the cars Hope y'all have a good day It's a stick too, man. So beautiful, so beautiful. Let's check out this one over here. As I say, do not touch. So, do y'all see this Monte Carlo? Beautiful. 